Hello guys, welcome to Ashwata Vlog. So today in this video, I'm going to show you how to do a protein powder. Hmm. Protein powder? Yes, you heard it right. It's a protein powder. Now you need not to buy giving lots of money on your protein powders or food supplement or whatever it is etc etc buying from the market with so much of money they take so which you can be done at your home now so i'm going to show you how to make this protein powder which is made of full of nutrition which is which requires almost 22 ingredients to complete your nutritional requirements of the body oh yeah it's 22 ingredients and yeah here i'm making a little large quantity so that i can take it for around three months yeah okay i'm doing it doing it in the large quantity you can do according to your requirements okay so it's 22 ingredients which is made of full of nutrition and full of whole grains, full of nuts, full of seeds, all those things. So you can use this protein powder as your uh, daily supplement for your workout or you can use it as a pre-workout or you can use it as a post-workout or you can also use it as a food replacement. You can use it for a weight loss, you can use it for a weight gain. Yeah, <sighs> I'm tired. <laughs> there are so many uses of this beautiful protein powder and even it is very tasty so let's get started with the video so this is the first set that has whole grain set all are 500 grams each first is ragi then jowar then wheat and then the oats so now let's roast them one by one. First I'm taking the wheat and dry roast them. It takes a little lot of time that is up to 8 to 10 minutes. So after roasting you can see that the wheat have even turned little dark. That is just like a light fried one. You can see it's done. Uh, the roasting of wheat is done if you roast correctly then the making powder process will be easier now i am taking the wheat in a large bowl now i am taking the jova and do the dry roast let's roast it until it turns a little brownish in color so now it's done with the roasting it took me around uh, 8 to 10 minutes again since it's a whole grain it takes a little more time for roasting now let me take it off now it's ragi I'm actually roasting it in a very high flame since I'm doing it in a very large quantity it will takes lot of time for me you can just adjust it according to your quantity so the ragi is almost done and i'm taking it off now let me take the oats i'm taking it in the two power portions because it's very fluffy oats will take a large vessel so i'm taking only half of it and do it doing it twice dry roast and after the roast you can see that it has become a little crispy that is with your spoon or spade it is just cracking okay so you can see it's roast done now i'm taking the second set that is the nuts so the first one is cashew peanuts badam walnuts and pista each of 250 grams compared to whole grains these are in the 1 is to 2 ratio 
first i'm taking the cashew and dry roast them do not add anything with the roasting or else your powder will not be good for too long time so now you can say it's roasted i'm going to take it off now the peanuts and do the roasting around 5 to 6 minutes it takes all the nuts will take 5 to 6 minutes and grains will take 8 to 10 minutes for roasting now the peanuts are roasted we are going to keep it aside and then peel these off after it gets cool down now badam uh, badam is a little harder it takes around 8 to 10 minutes just like the grains uh just roast it a little until it turns a little brownish in color so you can see now it's almost the roasting is done now i'm taking pista and do the dry roast So the roasting of the pizza is done. It turns a little brownish in color, not too much, because the pizza almost will be roasted before. Take it off, and now I'm taking the walnuts and roast them. Walnuts just do a light roast because they won't get the perfect roast for walnuts. So you can see now the roast is done. So here you can see another set that is seeds. This is sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds, watermelon seeds, then flax seeds and chia seeds. Each of hundred grams. So it's one is to five ratio for the whole grain. Now I'm taking the flax seeds and dry roast. you can see the seeds will be pluffed after the roasting is done now take it off now i'm taking the chia seeds and do the dry roast it around takes 3 to 4 minutes it's very less since the seeds will take very less time and it starts popping up next the sunflower seeds roasted you can see it can turn a little brownish in color after the roast is done so here the roasting is done now you can take it off now it's pumpkin seeds do the dry roast after doing the dry roast of pumpkin seeds you can see that the pumpkin seeds will be pluffed up that is you can see it will be plumpy plumpy just like a pumpkin <laughs> yes now you can see it's done now i'm taking the watermelon seeds it's, it doesn't make any changes so much just do the dry roast a little brownish color will be coming on the seeds that's it So you can see it's done with the roasting, and now we are going to the last set. That is poppy seeds of hundred grams, sesame seeds of hundred grams, gram of two fifty, and soya of two fifty, and barley of two fifty grams. So first, I'm taking poppy seeds and the sesame seeds together to roast that. It's okay to take it together. Nothing will be problem since it's very low quantity. I'm taking it together, and after roasting, you can see a light brownish color. It just needs a two to three minutes of roasting, not too much. Then take it off. And now I'm taking the barley. This is a grain, so it takes a large amount of time. So it takes around eight to ten minutes to roast the barley. If you don't roast properly, then it becomes a very difficult for you to make it powder. So it's done almost. So now I'm taking the soya seeds to roast it. It turns into brown color after roasting, as you can see now. 
and let's take it off now the gram seeds not too much just a little roast and it's done so now the peanuts which we have roasted we are going to peel it off and mix it with last tub of the grains nuts and seeds where we have put in so now mix it all very well i think it's already mixed now i'm taking a milk powder of 500 grams yeah i have taken the powder of nandini product which is very low cost and good in taste and cocoa powder of 250 grams i'm taking here hershey's cocoa powder actually you if you want more good taste for protein powder you can add more milk powder that is you can add 1 kg of milk powder and half kg of cocoa powder just add those two according to your taste and now i am going to add the cocoa powder for the mixture now let's mix it well you can see the mixing is done very well now i'm transferring it to a mixer jar with a dry mixer jar don't let any water droplets be inside your jar and then grind it in a pulse grinding so i have done the grinding that is the pulse grinding do not grind at a time be since it will leave all the oil and it becomes a paste So guys this is how you do homemade protein powder okay 3 tablespoons of protein powder into one glass of uh, lukewarm water okay and mix it and you can take it as your breakfast as your dinner okay you and yeah you can take it as a you know, what you can take it in the form of uh, afternoon lunch because afternoon lunch is a time which you should take a very a little heavy food so that you can go to some rotis or oats something like that if you are in a diet you can follow it and yeah, you can take this powder uh, when you are doing some workout that is pre workout with uh, before doing your workout you can take this powder and yeah so you can also replace it instead of taking a food you can take this cup of protein powder yeah and if you want to do a weight gain you will have to take that with the hot milk and not with the water if you take it with the water you will uh, you will be losing your weight and if you take with the milk it will be complete with a good fat in it so that you will be having it to gain your weight yeah yeah you can also take with uh, milk directly even if you want to lose weight but the only thing is you should do a workout fully after taking it and yeah ah uh, one more thing i forgot to tell what is that 3000 years later yeah ha huh, yeah i got it that is you will have to Uh, skip your food that is when you take the shake either you need to do a 1 hour of full heavy workout or have nothing in the next 3 hours because you will have to burn it first because it is full of nutrition what you need you can't have after that after taking this protein shake you can't have for 3 hours or minimum 2 hours nothing when you're doing nothing uh, if you do workout after taking the shake you can uh, consume food after doing the workout or you can consume the same protein powder again <laughs> so that's it for today's video and yeah if you like my video don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you so much and yeah the nutritional values of these 22 ingredients that i have put in this protein powder I will be sharing you it in the next coming video. So, thank you so much for watching this video.